In this video, I will show you how to convert an image into something that the C and C can read and can carve for you. So we call our images bitmaps, and that's B-I-T-M-A-P. Um, a bitmap is just pixels. It's just an image. The, the CNC doesn't know how to read that image and carve it for you, and it doesn't know how you want it carved. So we need to convert it to something that the machine can read. And what most computer software reads is, is in mathematical terms. So we will convert this image into what we call vectors. Vectors are just lines that are figured out mathematically so that the machine can follow them. So we have our workpiece. It's 12 by 12, 3 quarters of an inch thick. We're referencing off the bottom left corner and off the surface. Because it's a carving, we reference off the surface. If we were just cutting parts out, we might reference off the bottom of our piece. So click OK. And first thing we need to do is find the image that we want and bring it in to Aspire. So I'm going to open up the folder here. And this is the one I'm looking for. So I will copy it onto Aspire. And you can double click and drag it where you want it. And actually, if you go over here on the left where it says Transform Objects and click Align Selected Objects, then you can click up here um, where it has the four arrows. And it's going to center it both horizontally and vertically. If you just clicked on this one over here, it centers it horizontally. The one on the right centers it vertically. Close out of that. Now our image is centered. I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger. And if I hold shift down at the same time, it will keep its, its spot there in the center. Okay, so that's about right. That's how I want it. So I'll select the image again. Now to convert it to a vector, right now it's a bitmap, to convert it to a vector, there is a little bird here on the left side under the Create Vectors section. That bird says Trace Bitmap or Fit Vectors to Selected Bitmap. Click on that and it's going to ask is this image color or black and white? It's a black and white image. Color gets a little more complicated and uh, we won't go into that right now. Just click black and white so we don't have to worry about the colors. They all disappear. We will move down here to corner fit, noise filter, and bitmap feeding. These are really just to help you get the image how you like it and, and so that it looks right for you. It's hard to tell until you click preview to see what it looks like. So you can see the lines are going to outline all of the black, the silhouette areas. If you think it's not if it, maybe it's a poor quality image and it's following those lines too tight and it's getting some noise and some some funny stuff in there, you might adjust the corner fit or the pixels or or something else. And the bitmap fading is just you know how dark the image is, so you can kind of see what it's doing. Um, that works for me, so I will apply that and click close to get out of it. Now we have an image, a bitmap, and we have vectors that are, that are surrounding that bitmap. It's kind of confusing, it's hard to see, so if you go up here to your layers, drop down menu, and there's a light bulb on the left side. We want to click on the light bulb for the bitmap layer, and that will turn it off so that we can't see it. Now all we see is the vectors that it created around our piece, around our image. That's all the machine needs to know, that's all the software needs in order to create a toolpath and carve this out. So then you could go ahead and click on the Switch to Toolpaths tab and you could create a toolpath and, and tell, them to, tell the machine how you want it to carve this image.